So about a year and a half ago, I bought a cheap Anet A8. It's a uh, knockoff of a Prusa printer, and I've been upgrading it with uh, 3D printed parts, and I eventually upgraded to a metal frame, which is a great upgrade for it. Then I found the BLV mod on Thingiverse. These round rails are okay, but they have a bit of slop in it. I mean, I don't know if you can see it here, but but these have, you know, about a millimeter of slop in it. Even tightened down to a uh, metal frame, you still get a bit of slop with these uh, round linear bearings. What the BLV mod is, is a uh, MGN 12H linear bearing, which is extremely rigid. It also upgrades your gantry to a uh, 2020 aluminum extrusion, which is extremely rigid. This is printed at 100 millimeters per second, and you don't see too many waves in it. This is printing another part for a CNC I'm making. This is printing at 150 millimeters per second. You would never get that print speed with a acrylic framed uh, Anet A8. I've upgraded to a E3D hot end clone and a Bowden setup. I replaced my clone Titan extruder with this all metal extruder and I like this one a lot better. Changing the filament on this is extremely easy if I need to switch colors. I just flip this screw up and this whole thing flips down. Then I just pull the filament out, put new filament in, heat the hot end up, and then just push down on the filament until I get the color extruding out of the uh, E3D hot end. And it usually takes about 30 or 40 millimeters. With the uh, old Anet extruder, I had to extrude about 100 millimeters of filament to clear out the uh, nozzle. Because this is a, now a really high-end precision printer. I don't, I don't think you'd get this kind of print quality with this kind of speed, even from a like a CR10, because a CR10 has these 2020 extrusions, but they use the round uh, rubber wheels on it, and not these linear rails, which are even more precise than uh, the uh, round wheels that the CR10 uses. I'm thinking of upgrading the Anet main board to a smoothie board, which is a 32-bit. Uh, processor that uses uh, smoothieware. I haven't had any problems with the Anet A A8 board yet, but I'm just wondering how much better it would perform with a 32-bit processor rather than an 8-bit processor. I don't, I don't see any pauses in the movement or anything like that printing at 150 millimeters per second. I'm going to try printing at 200 millimeters per second and see if the extruder can even keep, it, keep up with it. I've upgraded from a BL Touch to a capacitive sensor just because the BL Touch kept giving me faults, kept crashing the firmware. So I bought a capacitive sensor and I've had zero problems with this sensor. It's extremely accurate. I can level this bed to about 0 0.05 millimeters uh, from edge to edge using the uh, bed level plug-in in, in uh, Octoprint. And it'll even go through this two, uh, about, I think, three millimeter glass, two millimeter glass, something like that. So I have no problem with uh, the passive sensor sensing the aluminum bed through the glass. And it's extremely accurate. So if you're looking for the ultimate Anet A8 upgrade, the BLV mod is the mod you should be looking at. Um, I made a custom hot end mount, upgraded these screws from uh, M3 to an M4 because the, 
first print that I made the screws holding the hot end stripped out. And so I couldn't really tighten it down, so I just clamped everything together with some zip ties and uh, redesigned the hot end and then reprinted it. And there's some other uh, upgrades that I did to this. So if you're looking for the ultimate upgrade to your ANET A8, these uh, MGN12H linear rails are the way to go. It makes for an extremely rigid frame and an extremely fast and accurate printer.